<laughs> Gotta get them lips right. They be getting dry, be talking a lot. Hey, y'all! It's Dr. AJ Austin, founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC, where I train black women of faith to become certified life coaches online in one day. Yes, it's possible. Yes, you can do it. <coughs> Excuse me. We have 182 certified life coaches to prove it. If you're here live, say hey when you come in. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm in my car. Y'all gonna see traffic. <laughs> Y'all gonna hear trains and horns and who knows what else. But I wanted to come with you live today to talk to my future black life coaches. If you're in this group, you are a future black life coach. I don't care if you already certified through somebody else. You here for a reason. Hey, Metrius, or is it Matrius? Hey, girl. Welcome. So, I have had so many inbox, inbox conversations the past few days with those of you in our Facebook group over at futureblacklifecoaches.com. Y'all see that motorcycle ride? I told y'all, y'all gonna see everything. This past maybe 72 hours, I have been talking with you guys in the inbox. If we haven't had an inbox conversation, we need to get one started on today. You hear me? I've been talking to y'all so much. Facebook done um, locked my account up. I be on punishment. Y'all didn't know that. When it get quiet, they won't let me talk to you. So, talk back to me because I've sent you a message. Talk to me. Okay? I've done my part. So, welcome. Let me know are you watching from say hello when you come in <coughs> i'm a little bit hot sitting out here drinking some almost gone sprite from mcdonald's hello lucy i wanted to jump on and talk to you guys who are future black life coaches and again if you in this group <coughs> excuse me you are a future black life coach hello rodrigo Savannah, Georgia. I drove down to Tybee Island a moment ago. Sat on the beach, watched the sunrise, turned around and drove six hours back to Atlanta. That's all I wanted, to be on the beach when the sun came up. That was my goal. So me and the Honda got on the road, okay? Welcome. A lot of you guys are new here. Um, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm making sure that we get a chance to connect. So if you have received an inbox message from me, just respond. Let's chat. I want to hear your heart. It says, oh, well, I love it, right? <laughs> That's what I did when I graduated college. I said, I'm going to drive down the coast. Welcome, new person. <laughs> so I'm Dr. AJ Austin, founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC. I train black Christian women to become certified life coaches. And I do what I love, and I love what I do. So I'm showing up today to just say hello to you. And those who will watch the replay, a lot of them come back and watch the replay. I am near airplanes and trains and automobiles. I think we got everything but boats over here, okay? Nice to meet you as well. Are you a coach? Are you certified already? You looking to become certified? Because if you're in this group, that means that you are a future black woman Christian certified life coach. That's all I train. That's all I talk about. That's all I work with. If you ain't know that, then it's, you know, might not be. But I told y'all that coming in here. If, yeah, if you came in the group the right way, I tell you what to expect. <laughs> so even if you're certified, if you're not, okay, you say you certified. So let me ask, since you're here live, do you have a full roster of coaching clients and you don't have to tell me your business but um i got some more questions for you you know look coaching and one-on-one -on -one. because even certified coaches are in this group right and they come in like oh dr aj i love your energy i wish i could bottle it up and take you with me and i need to be around a community of other coaches and i'm here to glean and learn and network and blah 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 but if you are in this group, you are a future black woman Christian certified life coach. Let me tell you why. 
Because if you don't have a full roster of clients paying, let me throw that in there, coaching clients. If coaching is not <coughs> your full-time gig and you have been wanting it to be, <coughs> something missing and we need to figure that out. Megan. Megan. <coughs> I'm waiting on y'all to talk to me. Megan says, I don't have a full roster. Okay. So, Megan, you certified too, right? You another future black life coach too, right? <laughs> because as a certified coach, I'm going to speak for me. I know in 2013, when I walked in the training door to get cert certified, <coughs> I keep choking. I was scared to call myself a coach, first of all, without a certificate, but some people ain't scared. Rodriguez says, I do not have a full roster. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty, girl. So, 2013, walking in them training room doors, I was scared to call myself a coach, but I also walked in with a vision, knowing that I wanted to write a book. I knew who I wanted to serve as a coach. I knew I wanted that piece of paper and I knew I had to get with someone who was setting the model for how to get this vision out of my head and onto paper because I'm, I was watching them do it. A few short years later, I was invited to come be that trainer because I had accomplished all of that vision. So if you got a message from me in your inbox today or this weekend or the past few days, reply back because my first question to you is what is your vision as a certified life coach what i mean is if you're already certified but you're here with future black women christian certified life coaches it kind of don't matter that you're already certified if you don't have a book centered around what you coach around and i don't mean a book you wrote back in the day about your testimony i mean if you are a certified life coach but you specialize in relationships send me the link to your amazon book to go buy your book on relationships that's focused on your coaching model or your coaching framework. I need to know what word have you chosen that's an acronym and each word in the acronym means something and it's your system for how you uh, work with your coaching clients as a certified life coach who specializes in relationship coaching. Just, do y'all feel me? Like, let me see some some hearts, some emojis, some, some all of them emojis. If your roster is not booked, if you initially had a vision going into your life coach certification, okay, thank you, boo. I see you. She said, teach us love. And that's what I teach in love. If you don't have a roster of full clients and, or a full roster of clients, and that could look like whatever you want it to look like. For one of our new coaches, Coach Andrea Stone, she might pop in here. She knew when she got certified, she said, I went out and had 20 conversations. I booked eight of those, and I closed my coaching doors for a moment. Hello, Natalie Bryan. How are you? Brand new coach, two weeks out of my certification training. I train black women of faith to become certified life coaches online in one day. I'm doing a training on Saturday, July 30th. Make sure you click the link that's posted in our group to reserve your spot. Because I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Y'all going to meet Coach Andrea and hear more of her story. She's featured in my <clears throat> documentary now. Showing the power of black Christian women starting their own coaching practices and what it could do. She <clears throat> joined. She called me New Year's Eve night. Top of this year. Joined. Connected in our Christian coaching community for our certified life coaches. They're called the Ladies of Legacy. Because we're ladies living and leaving legacies, okay? So when you become a lady of legacy, you get connected to all the coaches that are in our Facebook group. We have 182 certified coaches around the world. She connected with one of our coaches. They put their brains together. She said, okay, now I'm going to go out and do 20 conversations. She secured eight. She made $3,000 in two weeks. That was her definition of being booked. And she closed her doors for a moment while she could serve her, her clients. And I respect that. She surprised and told me that. I say that because your definition of booked could be your definition of booked. Whatever it looks like. 
So if you got certified with a vision to someday, I want coaching to be my main income. And today coaching is not your main income or it hasn't replaced your main income. Y'all see my eyes shifting? Cause that's many times you done shifted jobs. That's how many times you done shifted ideas from your coach. Let me stop before I get a headache. Roderick says, thank you, Lord. This is good. Absolutely. Okay. I'm speaking from experience because I was minding my business today. Laying on the bed. Holy Spirit said, when we're called to coach, we're called to coach regardless of where we are in the world. You can go try 30 jobs, but guess what you're going to end up doing? Coaching within that job in the break room. Coaching your supervisor like I did. I went and got certified that Saturday came back that Monday sitting in my supervisor's office coaching her and she didn't even know I was a certified coach then. I wouldn't even tell her because I knew she wasn't going to support it. You have the call to coach that anointing on your life regardless of where you go. He also showed me how we can run and go get these jobs. We're going to be who we are. We're going to be called wherever we are. And we're going to end up serving in someone else's vision using that same gift. It's not going anywhere. She said I did. <laughs> but also, it's not okay to put down that mantle or try to run from that calling and go get a job. Because again, you called. So it follows you. You've tried it before. You've tried working for other people before. You've tried using your gift in that position before. And it wasn't honored. It wasn't respected. You weren't paid for it. So you've tried it and it didn't work. Why not try it for yourself? As they say, try Jesus for yourself. Oh, I'm hearing the song, try Jesus, not me. I would sing it, but Facebook flags me when I sing because I sound that good. They think it's the original copyrighted version for some reason. Okay. All right. Just sing. <laughs> so that was my revelation today and I realized that we have a responsibility to our role in the kingdom of God while we're here in the earth realm so I'm speaking for me personally if this is resonating with you I appreciate the love I thank y'all for your emojis and your, your talking to me in the comments let me know that you're talking to me because I've reached out to about 200 plus of you guys out of the 600 so if you got a message from me you're welcome it's an honor respond okay because some of y'all have come back like i'm certified already yeah but are you fully booked though is it paying your mortgage is it paying the car note is it doing what you initially sought out for it to do have you written your book are you a highly sought after speaker not speaking for gift baskets, gift cards, fruit baskets, thank yous, lunches, and cups of coffee. But are you getting written checks? Are you turning down more speaking events as a coach than you're accepting? I want y'all to answer me, please, and thank you. Por favor and gracias. Do I need to go bilingual on you? Because un poco... Un poco espanol habla un poco. Okay, I got that all mixed up. But listen here. Just because you're already certified, you are here for a reason. On Saturday, July 30th, 2022 at 10 a.m., we're going to hang out for about 90 good minutes. And I'm going to show you what it looks like to not only be a certified life coach, but a black woman Christian certified life coach who then also has resources to getting her book done, getting booked as a speaker, Getting the jobs, the gigs that I turn down, I give them to our coaches because they ready. So I share. I would say, hey, girl, you want a speaking gig? Hey, girl, you looking for a client? I share the wealth. That's what it's about. I'm also going to show you in our motto, we teach about creating duplications of yourself because you can't do it all. So, yeah, maybe you're like a coach that was in my inbox saying, I really want to coach full time. That was my vision, but I love my job. <laughs> Hello, Anissa. <laughs> so if you've heard anything I've said, Facebook would not let me reach out to you today. And I know we had a great conversation yesterday. So reply back to my message so I can talk to you. Because I was like, I need to check on her. She says she real, y'all. So I'm sharing this because that calling does not go anywhere. It follows you. 
whether you're serving in your vision or someone else's, you're still called to coach. What you gonna do? Regardless of if you don't have the support system in place yet, what you gonna do? And what also would help is if your people, whether it's your spouse or your your sister or your best friend, they need to know that there's something in you that they've already spoken life into you. Like, yeah, she gonna make this work. She's a hustler. She's a go getter. She's called. She's anointing. Or she's anointed. She should be charging for this. Go get certified. Like people come train with me with that on their back. Like somebody sent me. I was sent. Someone paid my way. My best business bestie paid my way to get certified. She's like, you, you, I'm paying for this. Fault me over paying her back. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, because I don't want you to be telephone. <laughs> but that's what you coming with. So your people who know your gift should have already validated and confirmed that gift to say, here go my five on it. Because that's how much I believe in you. So when you show up to the training on Saturday, don't let this be the first time that your people know that you want to be a coach. Let them let let your kids say, hey, mommy's getting her learning on. Leave her alone for 90 minutes. She trying to do her dream. Y'all know she want to be a coach. Y'all know my mama a business owner, right? Those are the coaches that I train. Bring that to the training, okay? I wrote some notes a long time ago. And so I'm going to read them real quick because God told me to and I'm going to be obedient because I told y'all the other day, y'all didn't get me in trouble with Jesus. So even if you certified, you're here for a reason because you feel like you're missing something. You might say you're here to learn or you're here for community, but that's exactly what you're missing. Continuing education and a, a certified Christian coaching community. You here, you here for that, sis. You here because you need more paying clients. If you said you don't have a booked practice right now, whatever your definition of booked is, Mm -hmm. you hear if you hear because you say you need to be connected to other coaches you do but on a deeper level especially if you already certified you hear because you need motivation you need to see someone who does this someone who lives this I don't play coaching on TV I don't play it on social media it's not just a title I picked up and decided to call myself nope I'm here all day every day in your inboxes talking to you in the Facebook group, in my car, going live. You're watching traffic in the background in real time. <laughs> Here with my almost gone McDonald's Sprite. And I don't even drink soda, but sometimes I like to get the acid. I mean, Sprite. Mm -hmm. And it got us a drink today. Here talking to y'all. Parked outside the library. I didn't even go in. I was going to go in and sit in the AC, which I should have did. But here we is. So this is someone who does it. That's motivation to... That's how I get my motivation. When I see people, regardless of what they do, the Kanye's of the world, I don't care what people say about him. I bet you he got your attention. People have argued me down about not liking Beyonce. I bet you when she on that TV, you can't turn away. Seeing people operate in their element inspires me. That's motivation. That's why you're here. Because you see someone else doing it. You see a model set before you. So you know it's possible. I'm a picture of possibility. You're here because maybe you're not even confident in your coaching skills. Like, yeah, you got certified, but are you confident in that thing? Because if you were confident in it, you would click off this and go live on your page and secure you some clients to book that practice in full. Mm -hmm. The train coming. Y'all going to see the train coming. Y'all see the train. train was giving you a moment to process okay so if you're not where you want to be as a certified coach I don't care who you got certified through if you one of my coaches you better re-pick up that uh, manual <laughs> I hope y'all can still hear me these trains be long so I ain't even gonna try to wait but if you've been wondering if you should get recertified you are in the right place, and I want to invite you to join us on Saturday, July 30th. If you want to get certified before that, you need to be in my inbox having like a come to Jesus conversation that me and Anissa had yesterday. Mm -hmm. 
Um, if you were wondering if your first Okay, it's almost done. No, it ain't. Let me try my headphones because I feel like I'm yelling. Y'all tell me if this make a difference. It probably won't. Can you hear me better? <laughs> Some of y'all probably clicked off like it's too loud. Okay. Oh, okay, that was the end. Okay. Thank you, girl. So, if you here in this group because you're wondering if your first training was enough, or if you didn't learn stuff like how to price your coaching, how to charge, and where to find your coaching clients, that train just gave y'all some breathing time to realize you're in the right place. She said it's the same. Thank you, girl. They usually don't make a difference. I had a little hope. I see my little iPhone, I, whatever these things is. Case. She real cute. Anyway. Last point I want to make, and if you got questions, feel free to um, post them in the comments. If y'all didn't catch what I just said in the last 90 seconds, you're welcome. I don't know what to do about that. Um, if, let's see how to get, oh, so if you didn't know how to price or how to find clients, but more important, how to get those clients to come back to you as a coach, you need to meet me on Saturday, July 30th. Make sure you click reserve, going, in the Facebook uh event that I just posted in the Future Black Life Coaches group, okay? If you don't know how to um, charge or where to find people who will actually pay you when you charge your fees as coach, you need to do what? Meet me on Saturday. Okay, Roderick said we can still hear you. Cool. So, I'm going to do a training about the difference between certified versus uncertified shortly. So make sure your notifications are on as well. I love when y'all join me and talk to me. Because you encourage me. Like, okay, she really wants to learn. She's really serious. She's into this. Because if you have a vision for your coaching company that God gave you, and then for some reason we connected here, I'm going to be praying on your behalf. I'm praying for y'all marriages. I'm praying for your businesses. I'm praying for your babies. I'm praying for everything that is serving as your foundation for your next level that they will also join your vision get on board work with you in the company whatever they got to do but you got to first say yes and make that decision to move forward and that's what i'm going to share with you guys on saturday july 30th so make sure you rsvp your spot if i've sent you a message in your inbox reply i told y'all facebook got me blocked locked so i can't Send you a message to tomorrow. I'll be our punishment tomorrow. <laughs> I done did my time today. They got me on lockdown. She says, I'll be praying for you too. You're blessing me. Thank you, girl. I, I love it. I can always feel when people pray. And sometimes you just wake up like, somebody is praying for me. And I've had it happen both ways too. Exes be praying too. Them prayers don't work no more. They used to work. Be like, I wonder how he doing. That don't work no more. Oh, they be praying too. But uh, praying for my business. Yes, girl, I be feeling it. So she said, Lord, she prayed the house down for me. <laughs> uh, girl, don't start. You ain't going to have me on here crying no more. She said, have you, have you ever talked to her? She uses her skills. I actually do. Because this is what I do. This is coaching. Y'all, I was coaching the mailman the other day on accident. And he asked for it. Literally asked for it. I was trying to get out of there. I had an attitude because they couldn't help me. Now they want to talk. And he saw <laughs> He saw doctor on the name of my P.O. box. He said, what you do? And I was like, oh, Jesus know how to humble you, don't he? And so uh, he heard life coach. He came, got up out of his seat, came around the corner <laughs> and did like this. So um, <laughs> got me in the post office coaching the postmaster supervisor. He was the supervisor of the post office. I said, God knows how to get you. Yes, so welcome. You knew it. So Anissa and I have been on a business journey for years, and we just reconnected yesterday. God is amazing. We started out in, what, 06, 07, taking a business class together. And I became a poster child for that business uh, program. They had my picture in the hallways and featured in the newsletters, and they still follow me, trying to get me to stay connected. So Facebook has connected me with so many 
of you who have the vision to coach. And I'm here to, to help you breathe life into it. Because if you believe in, and I'm believing, and the word that's keeping us connected says we're two or three are gathered together, something got to happen, don't it? He say he ain't the son of a man that should lie. Now, his word is true. God shall not be mocked. So I'm just saying, Roger, this is normal, girl. This this is mellow compared to how my training is going to go. So you make sure you join us Saturday, July 30th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Reserve your spot, okay? Um, but if you want to talk with 40 a.m., I can definitely make time to do that. Um, Cause like I said, Facebook will let y'all will let y'all respond to me if I've already sent your message, or you can send me one, and then I can reply back. Cause they be like, "You talking to too many people? We're gonna shut your ministry down for right now." <laughs> it's all good. I'm one of their leaders, so they heavily monitor my account. So uh, I'm a, a Facebook leader. I'm in the Facebook Leaders Network, and then we do an end. I always get it wrong. End user research call a couple times a year so they call me and ask me what's working what's not so we'll have a conversation like y'all ain't let me talk to my people facebook i know we have a high traffic volume but i'm just saying okay we got some people that's anointed that's called and you, you you're locking them out now you like you got their anointing on lock we need to reach them are there any questions before i go today was just Continuing the meet and greet. I know a lot of you guys here are new. Many are no longer here. They got kicked out over our conversations because they be like, but well, I don't want to be a Christian. Well, that's all I do. Bye. That's what I do. Uh, yep. I don't know what, if I'm going to share the replay or not. So I think I'm going to make it a, a requirement to be there live because I put the replays in there. Y'all be like, I'm going to watch it. Y'all don't ever watch it. So I have to show up live and talk to you in a act of oh, your hand. Yes, it's on the 30th, Saturday, July 30th at 10 a.m. I hope I put that in there right. I'm known to mess up a date. Yep, it's about about 90 minutes. It depends on how y'all get on there and act. Sometimes y'all don't act right and y'all we be on there talking and stuff. I'm just saying. So, um, but yeah, if you can't be there live, then you definitely want to talk to me in the inbox um, on Facebook Messenger. I just want to hear your heart, hear your vision. What's your goal as a coach? Because I need to know what direction to point you in. If this is a great resource for you, who you need to be connected to, that's my ministry. That's what I'm called to do. Like I said, whether I'm doing it for myself or someone else, this is what I do. And uh, it's it's part of my ministry. So, What questions y'all got? Any questions for me? We have 90 minutes, Saturday, July 30th. Um... I will have a recording. I don't know if I will share a recording. So I'm going to require y'all to be there live. I'm just saying. And if you can't make it live, then we need to be talking live in the messenger inbox. K. Okay. So if you know you want to recertify or go through what we call our dual certification, that's if you already certified, you can come get certified complimentary and get those bonus resources, that 14,000 in bonus resources to help you become an author, become a highly sought after speaker, whether you're speaking on podcasts, summits, conferences, panels, symposiums, webinars, workshops, masterclasses, your own events, retreats, etc. Um, it'll help you get started with getting clear on your message as a coach because that's usually why the certified coaches ain't booked. Because people don't really understand what you do. So I'm going to help you get clear on that. Any other questions before I go? Oh, Lord. Facebook, I'll start you. Yep. She said, Speak, being a speaker is my goal. Yes. So, speaking is so much fun when you know your stuff. I hired a speaker as coach two years ago. We just talked today. We'll be having a long, good conversation just about the speaking business and coaching. Um, and it's a black man here in Atlanta. And I just so admire his. He has the same patience and compassion for what he does. And working with him helped me to reach six figures in my business. And as y'all can see, I don't really be... I guess I love what I do so much, I don't consider it work. Because I be out like this. I usually be somewhere shopping. But I'm parked in a library parking lot sipping some warm McDonald's Sprite now. <laughs> I just did a ride around the block because I wanted to. 
but this is my life. This is my ministry. So to see someone else pair their love for what they do with your vision and your business, then I get to share him with y'all. We have one of our coaches. She just, I need to check on her too. As soon as Facebook let me off lockdown, she just did her first uh, launch and I need to see how she did. She worked with my coach. I share my resources with y'all. She says, I have a book already and releasing my first ebook in the next few days. And the goal is, the goal, let me slow down. I ain't got my glasses on. The goal of that one is to gain clients and working on a two book. So is your book centered around what you coach around specifically as a coach? Like my book, do I got a copy of my book? I think it's at home. But my book is literally called The Black Life Coach. You ain't confused about what that book is about the subtitle how to become a professionally trained skilled qualified certified black life coach <laughs> you read it it's gonna walk you through the same stuff we're going through on saturday july 30th and uh that's what it's about also do you have your group coaching program together meaning you got something that if you was to go take a nap right now a thousand people could be in that program getting their own results thanks to something you shared in that book or a program that you put together. It's working passively, okay? Okay, you said that's the time I first did. Yep. So long as people understand this is the type of coach she is, when people get your book, they should say, we need to hire her to speak. That's how that high demand comes. Because they're clear on what you coach around. And you're clear on your coaching topic, your model. And then you have something to sell the people other than a book. Let me speak. But that's all in the certification I offer. And I give that for free. I used to sell my speakers training. I used to sell my book writing program. I used to sell my um, um, podcasting course and so much more. I just give it away for free as a part of coming to get certified with me because... It doesn't make sense for you to have to go seek additional information after certification. If you come in with a vision knowing, I want to be a speaker, I want to be an author, the path is literally paved for you to go already. She says we have to talk because I have a lot of things I just need to read. Yeah. And um, I just got off the phone with a speaker's coach. She is, she works with you live and she's looking to join our team to hold your hand. Because my hand holding means I've already recorded the course, go press play, I'm going to tell you everything do. Her thing, she want to do it live with y'all. So, we'll see. But everything you need is in the course. So, yeah, reach out. Send a message. If you're serious. If you believe in investing in yourself, which if you're already certified, I know you believe in investing in yourself. Um, payment arrangements are available, but I, I don't negotiate. My coach literally told me today. He said, you don't dictate. No, you dictate. You don't negotiate. I was like, that's right, coach. So, yeah, we ain't talking... Someday, one day, maybe, thinking about, praying about, mm -mm. if you're ready, you're ready. If not, you're welcome to stay in the community, keep watching, keep learning. Because um, that's what I did in the beginning. I listened to podcasts and webinars galore. till I was like, okay, let me just go. Let me just change my mind. What if this worked? And I went for it. That's what I did. So thank y'all for being here. I think the library even closing, but it's still daylight. You know, it still be night. Uh, it be nighttime and the sky still be light outside. So I'm gonna head home now. <laughs> but I just wanted to jump on here, hang out with y'all, give you a little word on today. If you have questions, I'm available in the inbox, so you can post them under this video. I thank y'all for coming here and engaging with me today and sharing your hearts with me about what your vision is for becoming a coach. I am here all day, every day, folks. But you got to come right. So send me a message. Oh, Lord, another train. Oh, that's the martyr. They don't last long. So until we meet again, my friends, remember, there is someone somewhere, and they are waiting on you to check your inbox. Reply to my message. <laughs> walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs because it's when you let your own light shine. You give others permission to do the same. And as a black woman, Christian certified life coach, when you impact one life, you impact some generations. Y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm waiting on y'all. What you, what you going to do? You ready? 
All right, y'all. I will see y'all soon. Thank you for joining. Thank you for be he being here. Turn your notifications on and make sure you get signed up for our July 30th training. And I'll see y'all soon. Have a great day. Bye, future Black Life Coaches. Ha, ha, ha.